Alrighty, how's it going YouTube? How's it going stackers? Welcome back. We are out here at a community yard sale. This is actually a community yard sale that I did last year. You guys might remember the video. I don't even... Hmm. Well, actually, I do kind of remember it. What happened in the video was I helped some lady move a table. If you guys might remember that random piece. Um, that's probably the only thing I remember from this yard sale. There is like two or three houses that are pretty good. I know there's one right here on the corner. Um, that I'm going to try to get to the guy's setting up right now, but we still have over an hour before it starts I'm not trying to be an early bird But I went to the flea market this morning to look around and there were six vendors set up because it was raining over there You might be able to see on the side of the road. It's a little wet, but this is about 25 30 miles away from um, The flea market so it's raining up there. It's not raining here. We are doing community yard sale join me and let's go treasure picking Alright, first purchase of the day, we got an ash can. Some people might use it as a trash can. This guy in front of me is a heavy picker. He's got a Bansky just like me. Um, and we picked up these three bad boys. Nice metal stands, they come undone. Um, this was only 25 cents, so I just gave him a buck. And he said $2 for all them, so I just gave him three bucks in total. Overall, good pick. I think I'm going to ask 10 a piece on these and probably 10 for that. Uh, I think that's a good price, if not five a piece on these. Very, very cool. So I got one Penn State, I think it's a starter jacket. Um, that was the only adult size clothes they had over there. And, um, and so that's the only thing that I grabbed there. It was a lot of kids stuff, a lot of kids clothes, a lot of kids toys. There was that one toy set. You guys might have seen that. It was like a black and purple set. Monsters College, Monsters Inc. Not sure. I remember I picked up one of those pieces in the trash and everyone let me know that it was worth some money. That set's probably worth some money as well. I think she was asking three bucks a piece. So it'd be like 12 bucks, 15 bucks. If you guys sell toys, that might have been a good buy. I can't imagine shipping that, but if you guys are interested in toys, toy sets like that sometimes bring a good amount. Um, not up my alley, you know, just because the whole shipping thing and I don't know if all the parts and pieces are there. I'm not a toy guy. But onward. Birdie ball. I actually always wanted one of these. I thought they were really cool. Um, I don't know what they go for, but for two bucks. 
I feel like they're a lot, they're worth a lot more than that. I probably can sell like the pad, I know the strike pads in there or the balls, I can probably sell them separate. I don't know, two bucks birdie ball. I see trash, free trash, free stuff. Got a little face. Looks like all the yard sale stuff. This is, this might be Knott's press glass. Put that back up there. Nothing in there, and these cubby things. All right, onward. Saw a couple other yard sales, but they're all kids clothes, so didn't really, didn't really document much there. All right, I didn't know how you really parked over here. I probably could have parked over there. I parked up. Wow, I did not park. All right, I gotta do that over there. I mean, I'm not even close to the sidewalk. I'll park over here. Some pickings. They had a Singer sewing machine in the, the garage, uh, but it was missing all the drawers. And usually you can just take out the drawers and sell the drawers separately. That way you don't have to ship or move around a big sewing machine. I'm talking about one of those antique ones. Uh, but everything in the garage was like best offer, and it, he threw out some price for some other piece that was a lot. And I was like, yeah. I think he wanted like $250 for a, a desk. So, didn't even ask him what he wanted on the sewing machine, plus I don't really have space for it anywhere. Um, it is what it is. Okay, so what we grabbed today, it's going to kind of wrap it up here. Uh, we got this one Penn State jacket. It is pretty dirty. I'm going to throw it in the wash. But for a buck, can't beat it. She was trying to tell me everything, you know, you can fit whatever you want into one bag for a dollar. I was like, I just need this jacket. I'll give you a buck for it. She's like, well, if you want anything else, you can pick it up. I'll give it to you for free. Wasn't really worried about it. I can see she was very honest about it. Um, so I paid a dollar for the jacket, which is really cheap. Grab this one thing, birdie ball. Uh, if I lived in a city, I think this would be fun to play. It's all scraped up and stuff. Got some cost. I didn't look them up. This was $2. I assume this stuff is not cheap. It's, I remember when I was like, as seen on TV, kind of wanted it. It can be a fun yard game as well, I bet. It's, uh, it's his family fun. So I assume you could probably make it into, you could probably make it into like a yard game, some sort if you're having a tailgate or something like that. Uh, if you like golf and things of that nature. And of course, we picked up this ash can, which is also a trash can, I call it. And we have these tables, which are neat. They have rust on them. They've been repainted. It's the look that everyone likes at the flea market. I don't know if I want to sell it as a nesting set or if I want to sell it individually. You know, I, I just think as a nesting set, I don't think someone's going to give me 20 bucks or 25 bucks. But I think if I sell them individually, I can definitely get five or ten a piece. So I got to figure out what what style I want to do with that. Um, but overall, it was a fun day. I did want to go to the flea market this morning, but. It, rains like every other flea market day around I've, tri I've been trying to go to leesport farmers market flea market and it rains every single day for that as well so with that in mind it's like i just can't do flea market things this year it's, it's kind of unfortunate if you guys like these treasure hunting like uh picking like this i would definitely recommend to check out bargain barons on youtube i gave them a shout out last year um they do a lot of these cool antique thrifting or you know antique picking at yard sales and come across a lot of cool stuff. They're into uranium glass and you know artwork and stuff of that nature. So definitely check out their channel. I'll put a link in the description below. 
great couple come out with a lot of great content it's one of the few youtube channels i watch pretty much every single day uh and hopefully you guys did enjoy this if you did please give a big thumbs up and uh, until next time have a great day keep living the dream peace